Welcome back to QED with me, your practical dietitian, Elisa Bremner. I was feeling a bit homesick, plus the weather is getting lovely around here, so I decided to take a break from the world tour. The first signs of spring are finally here, and that gets me thinking about pollinators. Do you know about pollinators? They're the birds, bees, and other insects and animals that spread nectar and plant seeds from one flower to another. We know bees give us honey, but did you know that we need bees and other pollinators to grow over one third of all our food? Thank you, pollinators. It's important that we give our pollinators the habitat and food they need. That means nectar from flowers and fruit like berries, which brings me to strawberries. You already know that strawberries are the only fruit that wears its seeds on the outside, but did you know that they are a native plant? Native Americans ate wild strawberries long before European settlers arrived. So as I come back from my world tour, it's only appropriate to share a truly American recipe with strawberries. Native Americans made great use of cornmeal so this Native American strawberry cake is more like a cornbread with strawberries. Gather your ingredients and let's get going. First, remember what I said about getting everything together before you start. The French and real chef call it mise en place. Pardon my poor accent. And my top tip for measuring honey, measure the oil first. That way, it puts a slippery coating on the measuring cup so the honey slides out when you need it to. Mix together the cornmeal and baking powder, the dry ingredients, and the wet ingredients, oil, honey, and milk, and stir until the lumps are gone. Stir in the strawberries, pop it in a pan, and bake. After about a half an hour, you get this. In case you are wondering what you can do for the pollinators, I have some suggestions. Planting native plants or allowing a corner of your garden to grow wild is a great way to help. Avoid pesticides, even organic, whenever possible. Provide water. Water could come from a babbling brook or a small dish with pebbles in it. Number four, leave leaf litter. It's tempting to do your spring cleanup as soon as the weather improves, but many pollinators could be hibernating in those leaves. So try to wait until the weather gets and stays warm. And number five, we've been brainwashed into thinking the only good lawn is one that is boring and green. White clover and dandelions are actually great for pollinators and they make your space more colorful. I'm also growing strawberries in my backyard, and I know I'm helping the pollinators because they rarely save me any. I served my Native American strawberry cake with a dollop of plain yogurt and some extra berries. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.